You have limited shop space and no dedicated place for the PC. Me neither. And that's why I built this free axis parallel motion linkage swiveling rotating notebook stand, which can conveniently swivel out of the way and store the PC underneath the CNC. For this build I used what I had laying around and figured things out as I progressed. I've clamped an aluminium spacer between those two ears to keep them somewhat parallel. This piece will be mounted to one leg of the CNC and will handle the swivel action. The matching piece will be made out of this mild steel round stock. To connect the arms which will lift the notebook to the steel bushing, I'll make two plates and weld them to the bushing. Sounds confusing but will make sense in a moment. Unfortunately my 8mm reamer here produces oversized holes, so instead of 8mm the holes are 8.3mm, so I'll have to make custom bolts. Best practice would be to use brass or nylon washers here, but since I only had steel washers and this will experience only moderate use, I think I'm good. For welding I did what I always do, tack weld the opposite corners first, add some tacks in the middle, followed by a full weld. Run out of gas without noticing, questioning your welding skills, realize you run out of gas, buy new gas, Grind the welds down and re weld it. Much better. But why don't you slap a drawer underneath and call it a day, you might ask. Well, this was exactly my plan until I saw what all the cool kids on the Print and See Discord came up with.
This plate will hold the tray in which the notebook sits and it can freely rotate. As promised, we will also make some custom bolts. To mount the whole arm to the CNC, I initially planned to just weld it. But since I'm not sure about the perfect height, I came up with this clamping system, which clamps onto the steel tubing. It's basically two angle irons with strips of steel welded onto it. One side has a through hole and the other side has a threaded hole. The first test showed my arm suffers from erectile dysfunction and needs some tension. Let's see if one spring is enough. <laughs> yeah, plenty. One spring is plenty. Since I can't weld my notebook to the mounting plate, we need some form of tray to mount the notebook to the arm. My existing control box is rather bulky and I don't really have a place for it. So I figured I can integrate the e-stop and the other buttons into this tray. As it is tradition, nothing fits on the first try, so I had to counterbore the backside so I can thread on the retaining nut of the e-stop. This tray is made out of some leftover ply, cut out on the print and see, and joined together with blind half lap joints and miters on the corners. I'd really like to give you some more details here, but I'm still figuring out how to properly do joints in the CNC. Now we have two springs. To attach the springs I initially used a threaded rod and once everything was final I made these stainless pins. 